late for work. Uh, well, no, we're beyond that right now. Please let me pay for the stuff. Well, you got to stop talking so much, okay? That, that, you're not paying for the stuff. I was Please what? stop begging. It doesn't do you any good. It just On works. October 11th, 2021, officers responded to an active shoplifting incident at Dick's Sporting Goods. So there's a woman inside. What happened was... I saw her purse and it was rather thin. She okay. came in, she started going into the Nike pad, uh, the Adidas pad. Okay. And then I saw her kind of dodging me, whatever. And so I approached her and said, ma'am, would you, I, I noticed you, you were looking at our Adidas clothing. Would you kind of tell me where those items are so I can put them away? And okay. she's like, oh, uh, I have them here in my purse. Uh, I use that as the storage bin. We have plenty, I've heard that story a zillion times. She's still in the store shopping. She gave me the items back and I put them on the back of the register, but we want to trespass her and okay. we, want to, we want her out. Right, We're no. going to prosecute too. Did she go past the points of sale or anything? Or? Uh, no, no, but she, she concealed in her purse and you know, that's enough for us to trespass and, and prosecute. Okay. Thank you so much, Officer Woods. All right. Well, I told her it wasn't a big deal so that she kind of stay here. Right. Yeah. I got you. Where's it? I'll have to look for it. You know where that woman is in the red shirt? Right there. He's over by football. Copy that. What about what now? No, lady, uh, red shirt. Uh, Got on. Right there, right? You know where I'm talking about? Uh, it's alright. Yeah. Is it? Which lady? Right here? No. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's her right there. Hey, ma'am. Hey. Alright, I'm Officer Woods with Savannah Police Department. Huh? I understand you put some items in your purse. I wasn't trying to. I have. I have a gift card. I was just, I didn't have a basket. Okay. Would you set your purse down for me? Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right. Yeah, you I have put, a gift card. You can card. put your wallet in your purse. Okay. I was just trying to. Okay. I All was, right, ma'am. I wasn't trying to do anything, sir. If you go ahead and put your hands behind your back for me. Oh, officer, please, I'm not. Yes, ma'am. I wasn't trying to. Yes, ma'am, I understand. However, it sure looked like you were trying to. Well, I wasn't trying to. I can pay for it right now. Yes, ma'am. The... Well, you might should have got a basket, ma'am. Well, I didn't need it. Yeah, I have my child right here. Please. Please, sir. Let a call. Where's your child at? Okay, well, that's good. No, I wasn't trying to steal it. I have my child right here. Okay, I'll set that card in your purse. Sure, okay. Ma'am, I'm sorry. I didn't even try to. I understand what they're saying, uh, but I can't afford it. No, I'm, you know, I'm serious. I have the money. I just don't have anywhere to put it. It's going to be out of big sporting goods from a female to 95. I'm going to start a female in my way for a thousand dollars. Okay, ma'am. We're going to walk out to my okay, truck. Can I grab? I'll get it for you. Okay, can I? Can you what? I have the money to pay for it. Well, well, you're not getting it, so why would you pay for it? I was getting it, sir. Where is it? What? They have this stuff up front. Oh, okay. I could pay for it right now. That's what I was doing. Well, ma'am, I'm not one for negotiations, and this is not about bargaining. You concealed items in your purse. And, uh, I didn't, wasn't trying to. Okay. Did they fall in there on their own? Sir, I was just, I had no bag. I promise you, I had the money right there. That's what I was using it to pay. Please, uh, give me a chance. You see, when you come in the store, those baskets right there. I didn't even pay attention. In the shopping cart, have you been in a store before? Yes, sir, but. Okay, well, they all but, have those. Would you give me a chance to please pay for it? Yeah, I mean, had, you had a chance to pay for it. No, I, that's what I was doing. I was still looking for a jacket. All right. Please, sir. Please, I have the money. Look, you think I feel like arresting you? Please, You think that's what I want to do is just come over just here and arrest you? Just give me a chance. Please, me go pay for it all. I got money right now. Yeah. Sir, please. You're not tracking me. No, no, I'm serious. Go ahead and have a seat, I, 
All right, I'm going to get this phone from you right here. Well, I need to call my lawyer. Well, you can get a chance to do all that later. Have a seat. <laughs> you got any knives or weapons on you? No, but, sir, i got okay, to turn my put car your feet off. In. My car is on. Why is your car still running? Because I was you just in a hurry? Here. No, I was looking for a, a, a zip-up jacket. <laughs> sir, I didn't. I was going to pay for it. Okay. Let me yeah. roll her window down. Sir, I was going to pay for it. Yeah. You're gonna miss it. You can tell me you was arrested. I'm going to jail. That's generally what we mean by arrested. Uh, I'm gonna get, sir. Sir, I wasn't gonna pay for it. Uh, okay. Yes, sir. I have the gift card in my purse. Please. Please let me give you my gift card. It's $200. That's what I was thinking. I was trying to get that stuff off. Five, four, one, four, five. Um, Please. No. Please, okay, I have the gift card. Uh, is your ID in your wallet here? Yeah, but I. Please let me pay for it. Yeah. Yep. Alright. Where in your wallet is your ID? Oh, it's in, it's in my phone. I apologize. Oh, it's see in my phone. My, okay. Where's my gift card? Alright, you got money in here? How much money do you have? A lot. That's what I'm saying. I okay, I'm going to take all this out and count it in front of you, okay? That's okay, what I'm going to pay for. All your it. money is out of there. I'm not, wasn't trying to steal anything. Okay. Sir, I wasn't trying to steal anything. Pay attention. You want to get a good count. Oh, God. Your money's all folded up here. I wasn't trying to steal anything. I wasn't. Well, I'm not the one accusing you, okay? Well, so sir, don't make a difference to me. Please, I, I wasn't trying to steal anything. I have the money. I was trying. Yeah, well, Please, sir. That's what the money's for? Sir, that I was going to pay for it. I know you were. Sir, I was going to pay for it. Please. Okay. Please let, look, please let me pay for it. Okay, no. Please. How much money do you think you got here? Um, uh, about 200 and then I got 200 on my gift card. One, two, three, four, five. Sir, please. I wasn't trying to steal anything. Please, sir. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve twenties, that's uh... I have the card. Two hundred forty dollars. No, I have the card. Two hundred fifty. I was going to pay for it. 260, 270, 275, 278 is what I got there. Please, okay. sir. Please let me pay for the stuff. Well, you got to stop talking so much, okay? That, that, you're not paying for the stuff. I was Please stop begging. It doesn't do you any good. It just irritates everybody. Sorry. Yeah. Why do you think I came here every time I got a gift card? Please. Okay. I was going to pay for it, y'all. So how much money did I say you had? $278. There you go. Okay. Alright, where do you say your ID was at? In my phone. Okay. Alright. Please, sir. Alright, I'm going to get my car. You sure did. I wasn't trying to do anything. Okay. I came in with $200 gift card. Yep. Yeah, you did. Okay. Do you have the itemized listed things that you've been I, I don't, not yet, sir. I can get right. that together for you. All right, sir. So I, I appreciate it. Get that together, okay. and uh, if you got a business card, do that. Yes. Great. Yes. All right, I'll get started on A and B. Just have to search you right quick. Now, I was. <sighs> you have anything on you that could pull the stick in? No, ma'am. I was going to pay for everything. Sir, I promise. Look, you got caught. That's all I wasn't is, trying to get caught doing anything. Uh, I know that. Nobody ever does anything trying to get caught. No, I, I didn't have a basket, so I just put them out and I gave the man. When he asked me, I gave it right back to him and I said, I'll pay for it. I was looking for a zip up hoodie. Turn around. I was looking up. Turn around. Can I at least call my lawyer? You get a chance to do all that. I didn't, I didn't do anything. Sit down. 
Can I be let go like a food? So I Where's your car? It's over there, please. What kind of car you got? It's a Nissan Rogue. Nissan Rogue? Yes, sir. Have your lawyer come lock your car? You really have a lawyer that's going to come lock your car for you. Right. You can explain to her tomorrow why you didn't make it. Loss prevention returned with an itemized receipt showing that she had concealed $105 worth of merchandise before being apprehended. She was charged with shoplifting and assigned a court date, despite being arrested for the same offense just a month earlier. On September 16, 2021, officers responded to a shoplifting incident involving her at Home Depot. All right. I've paid for it all. I'll, 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 I'll never come back again. Oh, that's not what I'm worried about. If you paid for it all, where's the receipt? He has it. He has it? Yes. Let's walk in there and find out. Well, okay, well, I don't, I'm going to be late for work. Ah, uh, well, no, we're beyond that right now, all right? You're just going to have to be late, unfortunately. So we got called, we're going to investigate something. You will get a report if you need to go back to work as an excuse for whatever it is at work. But right now, we are investigating the possibility of a crime. So I just don't want to go back to we're gonna figure everything out right now, okay? So you're just gonna have to sit tight for me. Okay? Hold on, boys, let's go top. Can I just sign something so I'm never Nope, nope. Like I said, we're, we're, this isn't a bargaining deal. Like, we're in the middle of an investigation, okay? So, loss prevention's inside. Apparently, he has a receipt. I haven't he identified does. her yet. Okay. Do you have a driver's license on you by chance, ma'am? Yeah. I promise I'll never come back again. And that's all well and good, but like I said, we got our process to follow right now. Can you just ask them that I'll never come back again? We'll, just we'll figure to that out. out. I'll stand by with her if you just want to go run it. Yeah. So what's going on today? Tell me everything. I'm a single mom. I'm just trying to get... I just started a new job and I'm just trying to make a good impression. Okay. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. I'll never come back again. Oh, no. I got you. So... When, um... When you came into the store today, what did you come in the store for? Um, to get the paintbrushes, uh -huh. paintbrushes, and uh, the grease lightning, which I paid for, and, and um, grease lightning that I paid for, and the uh, wipes, what are they, the, the square wipes, the Mr. Clean wipes, uh -huh. and then, uh, the paint box. Okay. What card did you pay off of? Did you use a card or cash? Card. Card? You have the card with you? Yes. Okay. Are you able to pull up the bank statement saying that you paid for that stuff right now? Yeah, he's got the receipt. I know, and I'm having that officer go and get it, but I'm trying to... Yeah. I'm trying to find out what exactly you use. So you use that card? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And your bank will reflect that you paid? Yeah. How much did you pay? It was like thirty-five dollars. Thirty-five for yeah. paintbrushes. Yeah. Grease and lightning. Grease lightning. And it was. Um, he's got it see right there. That's uh everything she didn't pay for. What? What? Let me see the receipt that she did. Yeah, I'll get it. It's just stupid things. So what's this receipt for? Um, Okay. And that's the receipt for what she did? Yes, sir. I'll put this in the shopping cart here. Okay. It's all hers. Okay. Alright, you know, let's step underneath the awning. You're getting rained on. Okay? I promise I'll find no trespassing. Alright, no, we'll, we'll cover that when we get there. Okay, so they have video cameras here. All right. So if we look at the video cameras, no, what are we? That, just listen to what I'm saying. If we look at the video cameras, what are we gonna see? And this is your chance to be completely 100% truthful. Um, you, you didn't see that um that I put them in the buggy mm -hmm. and um, I just did not scan the the drill set. Okay. 51 off one to 52 off of one. Uh, you can come back. And I, yeah, and I um. Uh, I promise I'll never come back, I promise. 
And I'll take uh, promises are all good. I'll take a ticket or please. I just don't want to lose this job. Well, you're not going anywhere right now. Okay, like I said, we're conducting an investigation. All right. Is there any other items that you have right now in that bag no, that doesn't belong to you? Could we look? Yeah. Cool. I have that. All I have is my cigarette sheet. What about this? That's mine. That's mine. Do you have, have a receipt for it? Well, no. I have in my car. I actually have more paint in my car. I actually have more paint in my car. That is just why I was getting for work. Why would it be in your purse? Because I was going to carry it into work with the paint brushes and everything. I promise you, if you look in my car, I have paint in my car. Okay. I believe it's your purse. Okay. I promise. Am I going to jail? No, not that I'm aware of. Like I said, he's just getting paperwork right now. Okay. I'm right. just going to text my phone. Let, you, let your work know that, just, um, that you were stopped for a formal investigation by the police. I'll just tell me the stuff I thought. Tell him it's a formal investigation. Okay. Okay. You guys getting stopped by cops could be traffic enforcement or anything. No, we're not here for traffic. We're here because somebody picked you for a suspect in a shoplift. Okay? I can't afford the reason. I understand. Trust me, I really do understand. It, it was just stupid. I was just... It's just me and my daughter that... Where is your daughter? She's at home. She has virtual school. She has virtual school. How old is she? Twelve. She's twelve? Is there anybody with her? No. No? You don't think I'm going to jail, I don't think so. I don't know that. I'm not the investigating officer. He is. I, I can't tell you for certain what he would do. I feel like we're alone right now. I'm having someone evicted from my home. Have you been served with the eviction papers? No, it's not me getting evicted. I'm having... Oh, you're evicting something. You are evicting something. My abusive boyfriend. Oh, okay. I got you. Alright, ma'am. I just need you to sign this form. It's a criminal trespass form. It basically states that you're no longer welcome on the premises. If you're ever called on the premises again, obviously, you can grab the automatic arrest. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. All right, other than that, I'm gonna need to do me a favor. I'm gonna need to put your hands behind your back. Nope, unfortunately I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna take the bag off. Can I at least call my job? Well, well, we'll figure all that out shortly afterwards, all right? Can I, can I bond out or whatever? You're gonna be released on subpoena right now because we're having an issue with the jails right now. So we're gonna get you fingerprinted and then we're gonna bring you back over here and then you'll be able to go home. So my car? Mm-hmm. In this incident, she shoplifted items totaling $490, just below the felony threshold in Georgia. She was charged with shoplifting, fingerprinted at the station, released, and issued a court date. Share your thoughts below and remember to like and subscribe for more videos.